So when we're working in After Effects, uh, one thing to keep in mind is that, again, it's not a fully a 3D program. Um, some of the things that we do are working in 3D space, but the um, the elements we're using are, are kind of flat. So uh, I, I wanted to, to play around with something. I'm looking at some work by Dia Studio. Uh, this is some branding for Squarespace. And to me, this uh, this kind of dimensionality with the flatness is something that you can get with After Effects. And so I wanted to do a little demo of something. Uh, you know, this the idea is that we can have these flat planes in 3D space and we can move them and uh, we can give the appearance of 3D and depth, but uh, we're really not working with 3D models and things like that. I and mean, there's ways to import those in and, and comp things. But um, yeah, so I wanted to do a little maybe type cube animation and just show how I would go about doing that. So I'm in After Effects right now and what I wanna do is make one side of this cube, the one plane of it. Um, I'm gonna make a square because I want it to be like a cube. So um, I'm, make, I'm making a pre-comp that's 1080 by 1080. Uh, we'll just leave it at black for right now. Um, Maybe I'll just say square side or something like that. Um, or just call it square precomp. Uh, okay, so I've got this set up. Um, I, I have this type that I've already kind of brought in. One other thing I wanna do is make sure I have uh, a solid here. So otherwise I'm gonna be seeing through this because it's just a precomp later. So I wanna just put a new solid and I'll make it black um, and then I'll just bring it down below. So you should see that I have two layers all set up like this. And uh, what I'll do next is then bring it into its, its uh, another comp and do all the 3D stuff inside of there. So for example, I would maybe set up another comp, 1920 by 1080, um, and then I would bring that square pre-comp that I just made and bring it in like this. And uh, right now, just to show you that it's it's there and it's working, I'm just gonna change the background composition real quick, just to show you uh, what we're looking at. So I have my square pre-comp in here, and uh, I'm gonna then scale it and transform it. Um, again, remember to make it 3D, we'll hit this 3D key button. Uh, and yeah, we'll, we'll go from there. So I'm gonna uh, switch right now and talk about how to construct this 3D cube. Okay, so I've brought in this pre-comp. Uh, now this square pre-comp is 1080 pixels by 1080 pixels, but I've scaled it down to 50%. So because it's 50%, I know that this now measures at 540 pixels by 540 pixels. The reason I'm doing it this way is because I want to create different sides of the cube and I want to be able to be precise. And the way for me to do that is to think a little bit mathematically, think about uh, you know using a grid and units. And I'll, I'll use this number 540 as a reference number um, as I start to move things around. So uh, one face already set up, the front face. Let's uh, duplicate this, Command D. We'll, let's do another face here. Um, one thing I might do also is bring in a camera and use this, you know, right now it's straight. You can see the top view, this is the active camera, but with the orbit camera tool selected, maybe move it around so that I have a better sense of what's happening here so I don't get totally lost because I don't have light and shadow and, you know, per cues, perspective cues. So, uh, you know, it's easy to, f to get kind of confused. So here's this square pre-comp. Let's rotate this 90 degrees and see what happens. So you can see that's one face of it. It's a, it needs to be offset a little bit. So we'll, we'll hit P now. Um, again, I said I used 540 as a measurement. If, if I put in 540 for the Z, you'll see it's, it moved, but it's a little bit too far. Uh, and that's because the anchor point is at the center of this. And I really want to offset it half of the, the distance of this, uh, the face of this. So I can use some math in, in uh, 
After Effects 540 divided by two, that should offset it the right amount in the Z direction. And then you can see the Y axis, um, the height in this case is, is a little bit offset. So I'm gonna do 540, um, I'll do minus, again, 540 divided by two. And I believe that's, uh, or that, that'll, that'll take it up, that's going in the other direction, but I could do, uh, let me go backwards. So 540 was what the original value was. And I could do minus 540 divided by two, which I said was 270. Sorry, uh, oh, sorry. Sorry for the math. Uh, I'm gonna add it this time, 270, to push it to the bottom of this. Okay, so now you can see I have these two sides aligned. Um, let's make a duplicate of this top uh, of this face. And, uh, you know, while I'm here, I should say, sometimes it helps to change the color of these layers. So you can see that this, the, the bounding box is colored with whatever uh, this layer color is, but maybe it's, it's helpful to, to color these different shades uh, so that you know, when you select one, you're like, oh, that's that, that's that front face. This face is that down here. This is the red, red face. So uh, yeah, let's, we got to push this, let's say up to the top. So um, instead of 810, we can actually subtract, let's say minus, uh, minus 540. Let's see if that, that should be one full, uh, whoops, unit around there. Looks like I might have deleted something by accident. Let me just go backwards. Okay, um, so 810 minus 540. And I'm doing this so that I have kind of exact control over this. Now, I could go through and do this same process. Uh, let's see. You can see that this is actually, it's, a, it's um, if I'm looking at it from the top, it looks like it's reversed, but I could always apply some rotation on it. Maybe just, just uh, whoops. Depending on your, on which way you're looking at it, you know, do you want it to go this way or, uh, well, that's, that's the wrong way. Um, maybe it's this, this one that we, we, we put to 180. And then if you want to rotate it, and if you want to look in a different direction, you could, I'm using multiples of 90 here, right? Because it's a cube, 90 degrees. All right. So that's half of a cube. Um, and I could go and, and do, do all of that uh, again. Hmm. I guess, I guess we'll just do it, do it this way. So we'll, maybe I'll color this a different color. Um, let's rotate this. Uh, getting a little bit confused. Okay. So again, multiples of 90. So t I know 270 will be the right value. Um, I need to move this in this direction. Now, it'll, let's do uh, 960 plus 270, okay, to offset that. Let's do, I think if we make this zero, whoops, not zero, uh, 540, there we go. That should be in the right place. So we have the other, other side. Let's make another cube. Uh, let's do a different face. Now this one I should just be able to get if I, I believe if I subtract 540. Oh, no, wrong direction now. It's, it's uh, this x-axis. Um, this might give you a better idea. This is the x, the top, so x-axis, uh, z, and up and down is vertical. So I gotta go this way. So 1230 minus 540 should give me, yep, there you go, it jumped. And I just want, I think if I subtract 90, eh, I mean, sorry, subtract 180. Uh, and then just kind of rotate it this way. This should be probably 270, there we go. Okay, slow and steady. Um, that one last face, and maybe we can take the front face and duplicate that. And I'll just give it color. And uh, yeah, let's move it. And this needs to go in Z space backwards. So I believe if I say minus 540, sorry, plus 540, I get a little bit confused sometimes. Uh, there, that should put it in the right place. And again, we'll need to just rotate 
that that way. Okay, so we have the cube set up, the 3D cube, and now you know we can animate the camera around it. That could be one thing. Or if we want to animate the cube itself, one thing we could do is use a, a null object again. And maybe I'll just call this cube null. Make it 3D. Let's select all the the cube the cube layers, and let's parent it to the cube null. And now when I rotate or move around the cube null, uh, you should see that it it will track with that. So uh, we could do a little bit of keyframing. Um, a little haphazard. Let's just... some easy ease. And let's just animate that and see what happens. So that that's just an example of something else you could do um, in 3D and After Effects. Um, we looked at an example of kind of using more flat layers and kind of in a sort of pictorial space. And we can also play around thing, with things in 3D like this, but again, we're limited. This isn't true 3D. We don't really have geometry other than these planes. Um, but hopefully this gives you an idea of the different things you can do in After Effects with 3D. And one other nice thing about this is because these are pre-comps um, and we could always go into the pre-comps and change things or maybe um, maybe we'll just do put some text animators on these uh, and they're going to ripple through and, and show themselves in the main comp. So uh, let's, yeah, let's just do a little bit of animation. Uh, I'm going to open up the range selector. May yeah, maybe I'll do the ramp up a little bit. Uh, I want to animate the offset a little like this. I'm just copy, copy and paste this and kind of move it around. Uh, let's do a little bit of easing. Yeah, so that I think I want to add, I think I w this is a little bit, maybe not enough animation. Uh, and maybe we'll, maybe we'll start kind of off screen. Maybe it starts like this. So adding the easing high and easing low to make it a little bit more fluid. I'm going to just offset it a little bit less so that it doesn't totally fall off the screen. Okay, so these these changes, like I said, they're in the pre-comp, so they should ripple through into my main comp. And if I go into that, it's comp three. Uh, I should, um, oh, sorry, that it's, uh, here we go. And if I go into comp three, you should see that those animations are being reflected inside of the uh, the main comp here. Maybe we want to add a little bit of motion blur. And again, that will come into the animation here. You can see it's blurring out 